logic. If you use logic predicting the Premier League table, you ain't gonna get it right. You need some madness in there. You need some crazy bold predictions because the Premier League, in my opinion, is just as mad as a bucket full of frogs. Coming up, I'm gonna give you my bold Premier League predictions for the upcoming season. Here we go, relegation, the bottom three, 20th spot, Sheffield United. I know they just came up, but I reckon they're going back down. 19th position, they've stayed here for two years, they're going back down, Brighton. And going down with them is another newly promoted team, Norwich. They scored a lot of goals uh, to get them up from last year, but I think this year they're gonna struggle their defense and they're gonna go straight back down. Surviving the relegation is Southampton. I think they're gonna do just enough just to stay up. And then we've got Newcastle. I'm tipping Newcastle to have a shocker of a season. All that <coughs> that that stuff with uh, Rafa Benitez. There's just a lot of bad vibes about that club at the minute. Steve Bruce, can he do it? I don't think he's got enough to do much with him, to be honest. And to be honest, they've bought okay. I don't think they've bought that well. So I think they're gonna struggle this season. 15th position, I got Crystal Palace again. I think they're gonna have, uh, they're gonna struggle. Aaron Wan-Bissaka going to United, that's gonna be a big loss. They kept Wilfred Zaha, but how much does he actually wanna be there? Um, they've got uh, the likes of Gary Cahill and that. I think they're gonna struggle this season. Roy Hodgson, I don't know if he's gonna last the end of the season too, so that's a big factor, I reckon they're gonna struggle. 14th spot, Aston Villa. I think they're gonna survive this year. They've bought a lot of players, but they're gonna need a lot of time to adjust. So I think they're not gonna get relegated. They'll stay in the Premier League, but I don't think they're gonna have an amazing season. But 14th spot, I think they could be happy with that. 13th, Burnley. I think this year they're going to have a lot better the season this year than last year. Last year they were in Europe. This season they're not. I think that's going to help them. 12th, Bournemouth. This is just like a typical Bournemouth spot, really. I think they're just a solid squad. The likes of um, Callum Wilson, uh, Joshua King, they're going to provide goals. Um, they got 10 clean sheets last year. So the defence is okay. I think they're just going to be another mid-table club. 11th, I've gone with West Ham. Again, they lost the Nanovich, but they've bought, well, they seem to be buying a lot of players every year. I think now, with a few seasons at the Olympic Stadium, I think they're going to kick on a little bit, but I've got them finishing in 11th spot. 10th is Watford. Now, Watford had a fantastic season last year, and I think they're going to continue. They got that guy this year. Daniel Wilbeck, um, they bought okay. They got to the final of the FA Cup. They did all right. I think they're gonna, they're gonna kick on from that. They're gonna steady on and finish mid table. Now ninth spot, I've got Wolves. Now Wolves, I would have predicted this year that they would have finished in the top six, but this year they've got the Europa League, which you all know, so I think that's gonna hinder them a lot. Quality side, I rate them a lot, very highly. But unfortunately with Europe, I think they're gonna not struggle, but they're not gonna finish higher as they did last season. That's why I've got them finishing in ninth. All right, eighth. Eighth, I have Everton. Now, Everton bought well with um, Moise Keane but, and Fabian Delph. I think they're always gonna be there, thereabouts, just missing out on the top six. But I reckon if they have a solid season this season, then next season they can push for the top six. But I don't think they're gonna push for top six just Right, yeah. Now, seventh spot. Seventh is controversial, I know, but in seventh spot, I've got Chelsea finishing seventh spot. I think with the transfer ban, I think 100% with Frank Lampard at the helm, his first season in the Premier League, how's he gonna do? I think, in my opinion, he's had one solid season at Derby, didn't get him promoted, almost got them done. I think he's gonna struggle. I think he will struggle against the big six teams. And I think, you know, no strikers. I know they've got Giroud, Abraham and Bishawari and all that, but I think they're just going to struggle. Losing the likes of Hazard and not replacing them is just massive. So that's why I got them finishing in seventh. Six, I have Leicester. Leicester City, they surprised us a few years ago when they won the league. Ain't nobody predicted that, but I'm predicting them to have a solid, solid season. I think Brendan Rodgers is going to have a good preseason. I think they've had a good preseason, but I think he's going to have a Great season. Jamie Vardy, I'm tipping to have a good year. <clears throat> I heard Brendan Rodgers throughout preseason saying Leicester want goals. They bought Perez. They're going to score plenty of goals this season. They did lose the likes of Harry Maguire, which I think is uh, huge for him. But I think they're still going to have a successful season. Now, coming down to fifth, we all know that predicting the top six hard, but making that Champions League or just missing out in that Champions League is going to be hard. So, in fifth spot, 
I've got Arsenal. And in fourth spot, I've got United. Now, controversial, not really. Arsenal, look, they're both just as shit as each other, if you ask me, my honest, true opinions. But I just think the lesser shit of the two is United. I think United, they've done well to buy... Uh, sort out the defence. Harry Maguire, uh, Maguire, 80 million, not worth the money at all, but he does fill a plug United need. We needed a centre half, uh, and he's going to do that. Aaron Wan Bissaka, we've got the next best right back for the next 10 years. Or not the best right back, we've got, the next, we've got our right back for the next 10 years. So United are going to be a bit more steadier than Arsenal. I don't think they've sorted out the defence at all. Kirintini, he's a, a good left back. Is he going to do it in the Premier League? I don't think so in the first season. Yeah, he will be good in the future. I just not think for this season. They bought David Luiz. Again, he's a solid defender. Is he going to be enough you know, for Arsenal to get into that Champions League spot? I don't think so, in my opinion. That's why I think Arsenal... Look, up front, you know, they got goals. Uh, Aubameyang, Lacazette, Nicolas Pepe now. They're going to score goals. I just think they're going to leak even more goals. Third spot is Tottenham. Tottenham... Champions League finalists last year, quality season after buying nobody. They've bought well, almost had Pablo de Baila. That was crazy, eh? Um, unfortunately, didn't get him, but they've got uh, Dembele in the midfield, and that's huge, in my opinion. They're just going to be steady. I uh, just like uh, what Pochettino's doing at Tottenham. The new stadium now, they're going to kick on, and I'm predicting Harry Kane to have a solid season. That's why I've got Tottenham in third spot. Coming second, runners up in the Premier League. No shame. Liverpool, unbelievable season last season. So unlucky not to win the title. Still think they're going to finish second. But I think the gap to City is just going to be a little bit further than it was last season. Just the squad depth that City have over Liverpool is just huge. You know, you take out City's A side, you put in their B side, and it's just as good. Almost just as good. Where I feel if you get a couple of injuries to Liverpool, Mane, Sa uh, Salah, if they lose those key players at the same time, they're screwed in my opinion. Where City, you know, if Aguero gets injured, you know, they've got players like Jesus that can step up. So that's why I think Liverpool just going to miss out on uh, winning the, the, uh, the Premier League. And that's why I think City is going to win the Premier League. I think they're just going to have an amazing season. Kevin De Bruyne back after that um, season, his injury last season. I think that's huge. And to be honest, I don't think it's going to be even a competition this season. I think it's going to be a whitewash. So there you go. That's my predictions for the Premier League table. Quickly, a few other predictions I've got other than the table. The player of the year this year, I've got going to Kevin De Bruyne. I rate this kid so, so highly. And I think City, you know, whitewashing everyone this season, they're going to be dominating left, right, centre. And I think he's going to be at the centre of that. I think he's going to be the general. You know, he got injured last year, uh, last season. He was out for most of it. This season, he's come back with a vengeance. I've seen him at the Community Shield. He just dominated. And I think he's going to get back to his best. And he will be the player of the season. Young player of the season... Bit out of left field, I'm going to predict Marcus Rashford. I think this kid is set for a huge, huge year. Uh, Romelu Lukaku gone. He's going to get more minutes up front. You've seen last year at Solskjaer when he first took over, he used Rashford a lot up front. Uh, and basically just used him until he got injured. And when he was injured, he was still playing. I guess that was due for the lack of bad performances Rashford had. But I think now that he's had a full preseason, he's gotten fitter. I think um, Solskjaer is going to be using Rashford as his main man up front, if not to the left, but he's going to be having a lot more game time. Another season under the belt in the Premier League, I think he's going to have a blinder, and I think it's going to be his breakout season. So, young player of the year for Marcus Rashford. Manager of the year, I'm going to go to Pep Guardiola. Obviously, no big surprise. I think City going to dominate, but out of left field, I'm going to say, if it's not Pep Guardiola, Brendan Rodgers. I tip Leicester to have an unbelievable season, and that's because of the uh, mastermind of Brendan Rodgers. I think he's going to have a great season. It's a bit of a bold one, but I think Leicester are in for a big season. And Brendan Rodgers, you know, I think he's going to have an unbelievable season. All right, the golden boot, I'm going to give it to Jamie Vardy this season. Like I said, I keep hearing on Leicester's going to have a good season. And it's going to be because of Jamie Vardy. I think Jamie Vardy is going to be central. It's going to be the focus point of that forward up front. So he's going to score a lot of goals. And the only person to rival him for the Golden Boot, in my opinion, will be Harry Kane. All the other top clubs, the goals are going to be spread. For City, we've got Aguero, Jesus, you know, De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva. You got, in Arsenal, Aubameyang, Lacazette, Pepe. They're going to be spreading the goals at United. Rashford, Martial, Pogba. They're going to be spread at Leicester. 
even though they've got Perez and they've got a few other players, I think Vardy is going to be the main man with the main girls. But anyways, that's it for my predictions. If you could give the video a like, I appreciate that. Anyways, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care and peace.